Well, you know I'm pretty crazy about camellias, and I just love them, always have done. And this fellow here is still flowering, even though it's the end of the season has come and gone. Now, I've got quite a few camellias in flower, but the garden I'm about to show you is jam-packed full of the most incredible array of varieties. One of the biggest collections I know of, and I can't wait to show you around. Elegance is a much-loved Sydney treasure. And, like all the open gardens, come spring, it's just filled with inspiration. Head down the garden path and suddenly you're in a botanical wonderland. It's easy to see why the camellia is called the queen of flowers. Different varieties start flowering in autumn and then early winter, mid-winter, late winter and well into spring. The most popular group are the Camellia japonicas. There are literally thousands of different varieties. Now, this one here is Buttons and Bows. It's a medium-sized flower. It's also a formal double. You might just go for a single specimen and then match it up with the colours, say, of the, of the pink irisine and the, and the pink loripetalum. And that way, you can have a, a beautiful display even in a small garden. The thing with camellias, they just love this beautiful shade. Avoid the morning sun, but they can be very slow. You need lots of patience. This is paradise illumination, and each of the petals has got a little frill around it. And then for something completely different, flowers that are buy and try coloured. This one's called Memphis Bell, and that variegation in the flower also appears in the leaf. It's really quite outstanding and elegance is filled with a lot of these really unusual camellias. The great thing about this garden, the camellias have been allowed to, to just grow wild. It's like being in a forest of camellias. Now, if you're looking for something that's an absolute showstopper, you couldn't go past the Camellia reticulata hybrids, like this fellow here, Terrell Weaver created in America back in 1974, and it really set the, the trend for the future of these big, blousy flowers, larger leaves, bigger bushes, and quite spectacular. Now, Camellia reticulatas are all grafted, so they are just a little bit more expensive because they're slower growing. And the colours keep coming underneath the red spiral ginger is red crystal. Six giant single petals with a boss of stamens in the centre. Now, if you thin out the buds at the back, you can end up with a flower the size of a dinner plate. When you look at this platter of camellias, they are really outstanding. I just love them and all these varieties are just from one garden. We really are spoiled for choice, but if you want great flowers on your camellias next season, now is the time to start looking after them because straight after the flowers, all the new growth will start to appear and that's when they need a really good mulch. And you can put it on, not too thickly. Now this one here contains the famous sea salt, yep, and it's got lots of organics in there, a little bit of gypsum, which the camellias actually do like, and a wetting agent so that when it rains, the moisture or your watering, it'll go deep down into the roots. Keeps your camellias happy, also keep the worms happy, which is great for soil health, and it's top quality because it's got the red ticks. And now's the time to put it on. It's hard to compete at this time of the year if you're not a camellia, but there are a few plants that are looking great, like this begonia. Isn't it beautiful? The leaves and the flowers all look stunning. There's also lots of a butyl on the Chinese land and looking good. Different coloured flowers, fantastic all year round pretty much. And the salvia as well, one of the most popular plants on the planet. I couldn't visit the garden without coming down to have a look at the lake and taking in some of the peacefulness. the way that the irisine is reflected in the water. 
It's also very calming and peaceful, as are all the flowers and the foliage. It's a combination that makes it so relaxing. You can't beat a bit of a sticky beak in someone else's garden to pick up some great ideas for your place.